let's do some arts and crafts and make a snowman. First thing we need to do is roll the pretend snow into balls. Do you know how to roll? Try it with me. We roll something like this. Yeah, and then we have the bottom of the snowman. Then you need another one. Rolling. Then we need the head. A snowman is usually three balls rolled up. We did it, we made a snowman. What does he need to see? Yeah, he needs two eyes. One, two. We did it. What does he need to smell? Yeah, a nose. A lot of people use carrots for the nose of a snowman. And what does he need to taste? Yeah, his tongue, which is in the mouth. So we'll give him a little mouth. What a cute snowman. What's something we wear on our head sometimes? A hat. Yeah. What color is this hat? It's a black hat. Now we need to give our snowman something he can touch with. We learned that we touch with fingers. So let's give him some tree branch arms with fingers. How many arms do we have? One, two. We have two arms. Oh, he looks so great. This is fun. Some people put buttons on a snowman. Let's put buttons on ours. One, two, three. We put three buttons on. Now let's give him one of these. It's a scarf. Put the scarf around to keep him warm. Wow, friends, thank you for helping me build a wonderful little snowman. Thank you for building me. Yay! How many trees are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Christmas trees. Good job. Let's go over some Christmas vocabulary. Tree. Presents. Reindeer. Stocking. Star. Toys, sleigh, cookies, ornament, great work. That was so much fun spending time with you. I loved dancing and singing and finding the presents. It's really fun to get a present on Christmas, but the most wonderful thing about Christmas is spending time with people we love and giving, because giving truly makes us feel happy inside. I'm so happy I get to be your friend. Merry Christmas!